Product quality is the key thing for, for natural medicine. If you have one thing that's non-therapeutic, your whole product will be jeopardized. It all comes by the transportation of, of the nutrients. The starting material, your raw material, your source. Where are you buying the raw material from? What kind of clinical data can you support your product with? And where is it derived from? A lot of inferior products, and I have nothing against the Chinese market, but they're not tested. They don't have the same quality levels, and some of them are actually derived from sources that public would be very shocked to find out. I have a, a letter that was uh, given to me by the customer service from Ajinomoto, one of the largest amino acid manufacturers of the world. And in this letter, they were saying that the l taurine is not made from human sewage or been irradiated. If theirs isn't, what about the lesser quality products? What about the other stuff that people are buying on price price point. If, if they're given a statement only like that, it must be that a lot of other brands are using products derived from raw sewage. I don't think you'd like to have that as a selling feature on your label, made from raw sewage. Mm, no, no, we wouldn't like it. So we have to have a product that starts with a, a good component, a natural component, a plant-based nutrient. That way you're going to have the therapeutic value. And how, how is the product processed? Our products are processed by fermentation method, using up to 20 to 30 different enzymes to break it down. And it's allowed to ferment, so you're gonna have uh, the, the potency of the product. The other ones are done by extraction method. An extraction method uses anywhere from two to 10 enzymes. And the process is much quicker. You don't use the fermentation process. So your products become inferior right from the beginning. Then you're sold cheap. They're sold very cheap, and they can have a license. So you have an NPN of inferior raw material, and the dosages have been reduced to such a level by standards, quality of standards, that is non-therapeutic. What's the customer going to think? He goes into a health store, sees a licensed product that has quality in it, and a licensed product that doesn't have quality. How is he going to know the difference? It's by education. This, this information has to be sought out. Look under uh, Google Scholar. Do your own searching. When you find out that these things are used from horse hair, animal hair, duck feathers, raw sewage, and you don't have the therapeutic value, the customers, the consumers, is confused. They go into a health food store. They pick up a product, and it's not known. People aren't promoting this. And they go in their health store, and there's no th therapeutic value when they take the product home. The first idea is that the natural health products don't work. They're non-effective. It's just placebo effect. Some hippie making some products, uh, like they used to think of us as naturopaths when we graduated. This is how the, the type of technology has changed. Our, our industry has changed dramatically and that information has been suppressed. Partial truths. Partial truths never bring about the, the end results that you want to have. And the most dangerous, dangerous lie that could be told is the one that's closest to the truth. And I think we need to have a, an open uh, forum here. There has to be dialogue on quality. What makes us different in the natural health industry? We have to be different. We cannot sideline. If, if we don't know the quality of our raw material, we shouldn't be manufacturing it. Manufacture not on based on, on end results of dollar value, but on therapeutic value. What is gonna help and heal the people? For a product to be therapeutic, we ha you have to be, be manufactured in a way where you're gonna have it, the transporters, and it has to be blended synergistically. Now, synergistically means you have products that complement each other in your formulation. If you have a calcium, what are you gonna put? Coral calcium, you're gonna put one made from limestone, or you're gonna have one that has an orotate or a citrate makes a huge difference. It, the body can recognize that. It's pre-digested. It gets absorbed, free form amino acids. Or if you're using a, a B6, but if you use a P5P form of B6, pre-digested, it gets absorbed. You can even give it to infants. Then you have a, a B12, you have psychocobalamin. You try, try to take that one. I call it psycho because a lot of times it puts people in a psycho position. But if you take the methylcobalamin, 
much stronger, you're going to have the results that you want to have. It's just selection of material, selection of raw material, selection of how to put the components together in the delivery system. People have to realize that it took you 25 years to develop your illness. You can't take a natural health product and expect it to help within the first couple of days. It didn't work. First, you had to bring your body into sync, like a plumb line when you're building a home. You get the, the structure, your body has to be lined up, you have to have the support. Everything has to be in balance, your body will heal itself. It's an amazing or organ we have, our body, it's amazing, it's, it's God-given. I mean, you have a body that functions, you have, it's like a river. Say you have a river with all the tributaries and you cut one of those tributaries off, it becomes to die. All the wildlife, all the plant growth, everything dies. Same with our bodies. If you have uh, the organs of the bodies and you have the blood flow and it's cut off by a blockage, which is a, and the body isn't at ease, it's dis-ease. If we can take that and ease the body, the dis goes away and our body functions again, it'll heal itself. That is the difference. That is the, the main difference. We have to get back to the place of purity. <laughs> plant-based nutrients, whole foods, a diet it has to be a way of life. If you don't want to find the best results, the best quality, and you buy on price, you'll never have a product that's going to be therapeutic. Never will. Let's take our melatonin, for instance. We have a three milligram melatonin. We buy our material from Flema, Italy. One source, they're the licensed patent manufacturers in the world. Now Flema, they have clinical studies probably don't know this, and I, I've learned of this recently for cancer therapy. Melatonin for cancer, who would have thought of that? Melatonin, 20 to 30 milligrams a day, will actually help with cancer. American Cancer Institute is doing a clinical trial right now on the brand that we use, the DMF Quality Melatonin. And the cancer, they, they gave for, uh, for the clinical trials using radiation, and, or radiation and melatonin at 20 milligrams a day. After the one year, all these, the, the patients were all on the same level of uh, health, health status. After the one year, the ones on radiation were all dead. The ones on melatonin, 26% were in a survival rate. The clinical trials are going on for, for brain cancer, pancreatic cancer, and breast cancer for melatonin. Naturopathic doctors, I was explaining that too, there's it. We use it in our practice all the time. We use 20 milligrams a day and it's been tremendous results for, for cancer. But we can't put that on our label. What we can put is good for jet lag. It's a hormone, it's an amazing hormone. And it has a lot of healing attributes. But you won't get that results if you buy a $200 uh, melatonin per kilo. We pay $2,300 a kilo. The demand for high, high quality, high end material is being bought up by the pharmaceutical companies. It's a wonderful idea to put us out of business, the natural health industry. They'll create products, they'll, it'll be licensed product, and the raw materials will be substandard because we don't have access to the real stuff, the real pure stuff. We've had a relationship for 25 years in the business, so we have, still have access to these products. Most people don't have access. No, most companies don't have access to the high quality material. Our, our DMF uh, melatonin, we had to qualify to buy it because it's all bought up by the pharmaceutical company. They don't want to release this information. You, you even phone your raw material supplier. Say, where is this from? How is it derived? They don't know. They don't know. I've tried. I, I phoned raw material suppliers. Where is your amino acids derived from? I don't know. I said, well, how, what is it sourced from? Is it plant-based? We don't know, but we can look into it for you. So they're selling all this raw material. They don't know where it comes from. They're selling it to the industry. No one's asking questions. We have to start asking questions. The public have to demand quality products. Products that work. A high grade. Quality is not improving. Some companies excel because the quality is their, their main focus. I've, I've seen some here that are, are high-end products, things that I take myself. I'm not going to name the brands, and I see other brands that I would never take. If they gave it to me free, I would not touch it because I know the quality. I know the price. If you can sell a product cheaper 
than I can manufacture it for. You can retail it cheaper than I can manufacture it for. Something's wrong. Something's wrong. We manufacture very small batches. That way you get controlled delivery in your blending. We don't manufacture tablets. We don't press them and put all these excipients in them. We don't put any additives that is not necessary. I can't say that for everybody else. I think the product quality has become lesser. I think the therapeutic value has become lesser. And I think the market is growing, but we don't have the type of products that can give the therapy that we need. We need products that work. We need products that are natural alternative to allopathic medicine. That's what the industry needs.